In the latest version of Alarm Builder, we created a new feature called Tasks. So let's go ahead and show you how this is used. To begin with, we're going to go into the Setup option, and we're going to create a few tags. Tags are used within your tasks to identify what the task is for, or to be able to put just an attribute to it. The nice thing is, is you could put multiple tags on any task. So let's go ahead and just create um, a few as we set up the uh, task system for the first time in this uh, test database. So here we have one called customer inquiry, one called invoice dispute. We'll create one called a to-do item. And we'll, let's create a few more. And as you see, as we go through this and we create the task, tasks can be used for multiple purposes. So this is the first in a series of videos, and, and please watch all of them as you'll, we'll bring all this together. So there we created our tasks. So let's go back to our home screen now. And you'll notice right to the right of the home screen button is a new icon called tasks. So we'll click on that. It opens a new page, and we're in our task management now. Now, we've never created a task before, so let's create our first one. So the first thing we have to do is put in a title. That's a required field. So let's go ahead and just put one in here. And this is going to be just a miscellaneous to-do task. So I'm just going to say plan the office party. Now, since I'm the user who created it, I'm the owner. And I can also assign it to somebody. For right now, I'm just going to assign it to myself. We can then put in the follow-up and a follow-up time. And we'll get a reminder, um, a notice if it were past due, as well as we could set reminders. The status, and again, we can add additional statuses, and we'll show you that in a later video, is just where we're at with this um, task. We're just going to call this new for right now. We can also put a priority level. I'll choose medium. We'll go ahead and we'll add a description, plan the office, holiday party. And um, we'll come back to the entity type later on, but let's add a tag, and we'll just put the to-do item in there. And we'll show you how this is used later on um, when we want to uh, manage our tasks in the task list. So now that we've created the task, we can add additional notes. And you could put an unlimited number of notes. And any user who's ever in this task, um, all notes are user, date, and time stamped. So we'll just go ahead and add that note. We can also add documents to a task. So if we ever needed to upload a file, or a contract or anything to that task, we can do that. So now this task has been successfully saved. Um, let's go back and go back to our home screen. And um, we could do that by going back to our home tab or pressing the home um, icon. And again, if we press the task icon, we can now see that task has been created. So continue watching. We'll have another video that's going to go further into the details.